welcome back to what's going on. I am so excited for today's project. I am recreating the dress that I made a few weeks ago. It was my perfect autumn dress. If you watched that video, you know it didn't turn out the way I had originally planned, but I really ended up liking the way it turned out. So today I'm going to recreate that dress in my original idea. What I had planned for that dress was to have a sweetheart neckline, some scrunchy elastic sleeves. I did want it floor length, that fabric I didn't have enough, but with today's fabric, I definitely have enough. Last week I took you along thrifting with me and I hinted at this fabric. I actually have another project on the go right now. I put that one on pause so I could make this dress now. I didn't end up showing the fabric, but I kind of showed it a little bit. It is the most I have spent on fabric to date. Normally I spend under $10 and for this piece of fabric, I spent $19.99. It was worth it. As soon as I saw the fabric, I could picture the dress that I wanted with it. It was exactly what I was looking for. So I am so excited to actually make this dress today. I will list the pattern pieces I used below, but it's basically the same one I did for the other dress. But for this one, I traced out the bodice and then made it a button placket in the front. And then I used a different sleeve pattern to make the poofy sleeve that I actually need. I ended up cutting all my pattern pieces out last night and then I got a burst of energy because I was so excited that I ended up getting a lot done. So I'm going to take you back to last night, show you what I did so far. And today we're gonna to start putting the dress together. Both my sleeves are almost finished. I was able to stitch in the channel. I did put on my bias tape that I had made. I think it looks pretty nice. I think I should have used thicker elastic. All I had was half inch in black, which I could have went, I guess, a bit bigger if I did white, but for some reason I just stuck with the black. It's stitched on both ends, so it is secure, but I think it is a little short because the slit comes here. Once I attach it, I think I can make it work but I'll have to figure that out once I attach the sleeves. I've accepted that they're not going to be full length. If I had more fabric, they would be. So I'm going to make them three quarter ish length. Since it is going to be elastic, I'll be able to move them up and down a little bit. So for the base, I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did for my prairie dress in the spring. I just liked it. I like the look of it. And I think I can make a small enough channel that I'm not gonna take too much of the length away. If I just fold it under one and a half inches, 
I think I could just make a half an inch. So I'll just stitch it down exactly where my serger line is and then do half an inch lower. That way I'll be able to feed in the elastic right there. So I'll have a little bit of a lip, but I still won't take too much of the length away. I think that's my best option. So I'm just going to do that. I will start at the blue one, stop at the red one. That will give me enough room to go in there to feed through my elastic. For the elastic, I just measured it around the widest part of my forearm and I wanted to make sure it was tight, but not, you know, too tight. And then I added about an inch on each side just so I can make sure that I secure it and sew it together. Now I'm just going to thread it through the channel. Before you pull it out, just to make sure that the elastic didn't twist, I usually just put the ends together with the safety pin, just to make sure I don't lose them at all, like I almost just did. <laughs> and then I just put them on top of each other, like that. And then I'm just going to sew the elastic together. I normally kind of overdo it a little bit, but it's just because I don't want it to snap or come apart. I usually do a large rectangle all on the outside and then I'll make an X down the middle of it and then sometimes like another right down the middle just to make sure it's really secure and that it won't go anywhere. Every time. <laughs> Father Christmas, do you need a nightcap? I am totally going to be making you a Christmas nightcap. <laughs> okay, show the camera. Please, sir. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Why do you keep looking up there? Planning your escape? Don't want to show the camera your hat. <laughs> Fix yourself. Whew, this is a skirt. I am so excited. I kind of wish it was a little bit longer. I knew the whole time that it was going to be just above the ankle. I said it from the start because I really didn't even think I was going to get three quarter length sleeves. I thought I was going to have to make just like a little puff sleeve, but I was able to get the three quarters oh, playing around with the fabric placement. I probably mixed and matched the patterns and how they were laid out at least five times and I even refolded it a couple different ways, but it worked out. So I was able to get all the pieces I wanted. I was really hoping that I could double, I was really hoping that I could double, I was really hoping I could double, oh my gosh, <laughs> double, okay. I was really hoping that I could double, <laughs> maybe I need to say it in a different way. How else am I supposed to say that though? I was really hoping that I could double layer the bodice, nailed it, but I couldn't. I only had enough for all of the pieces that I needed. When I bought the fabric, it was pretty deceiving. I didn't really, I did open it up, 
but I didn't measure it out and then I didn't really check how much was there. I just, you know, eyeballed it and assumed that I would have enough for the dress, which I pretty much do for every one of my projects and I don't think that's great. But when you're thrifting, you kind of have to just wing it sometimes. And because I was Frankensteining this together, I didn't really know what the yardage was going to be. Part of me wants to put on a lining, but then part of me doesn't. I don't know if it really needs it. It's not, you know, super thick fabric and you know, it's not really that see-through. I would describe this, I don't know what it is, almost like a really soft burlap and obviously a finer weave, but that's kind of what it reminds me of, but it's super soft. It feels like there's like wool in it, but I, I honestly have no idea what this fabric is, but I know that I love it. I thought it was going to fray a lot more. So that's why I went ahead and I surged all my bodice pieces. And I also did the French seams on the skirt because I just, I thought it was going to pull more, but I guess it's really not that bad. I am starting to notice that there's tiny little holes everywhere, not everywhere, here and there. So I don't know if I'm going to have to like darn them or do something about it. I don't know if they were like moth kisses or if maybe they just got pulled on something. It's really, again, it's when you hold it up, you can't see it, but I think it's because it's I'm so close to it that you can. I'm just worried that eventually they might lead to something a little bit more. And I don't really want to put any patches on it or anything like that. I was thinking about maybe just going over the little tiny ones with maybe some fabric fuse. I forgot what it was called. I don't know if that's really proper thing to do. I don't know. When you get a run in nylons, you put like my brain is not working clear nail polish so that's kind of where my head went with it but i don't know if that's the right thing to do i am not going to do it maybe just let me know in the comments if that's even a good idea or if i should just keep an eye on them and not touch them until i absolutely have to it's only in one little area on the skirt what was i even talking about since then i forgot completely what i was doing wow what is the deal oh the bodice double bodice right i said that enough you think i would have remembered that a lot of my other dresses i've made have been thin or thinner than this and i haven't used a lining so i'm going to risk not using one i can always add one on later i do have enough to go around and do the facing all along the top i have just one strip of fabric well, double-sided, that I think will be wide enough once I have the bodice put together, lay it over and just cut up a facing like I've done before. So I'm not really worried about that. So as mentioned, last night I got a lot done. I have both sleeves finished and I have, they're all stretchy and finished on the inside. Just have to be placed on the non-existent bodice that I'm going to be doing soon. And the skirt is all done and I freaking love it already. Ankle length skirt which isn't that bad because then you can see my boots a little bit. It's not going to drag as much. I'm okay with the ankle length, I think. Hopefully it doesn't look like I'm trying to avoid a flood. Okay, so now I'm going to start on the bodice. I'm going to put all the pieces together. I'm going to try it on, make sure it fits properly. Really hope it's just either too big or it's just right because if it's too small, I'm just going to have a skirt and some sleeves there is no extra fabric. The bodice, because I didn't have any extra fabric to make a double lining, like I said, I am going to be doing the button placket a little bit different. I'm kind of making it up as I go, so I will show what I do. Hopefully it works out. I think I did something similar. Normally I just cut extra on the button placket and then I fold it into itself to kind of make a lining. This, I didn't have enough to do that, but out of the scraps I was able to cut two folded kind of pieces that I'm just going to, I'll show you. For the bodice, I took my two pieces of facing. I surged both the edges and then I folded in half and I pressed that down to have a middle line press line. Then I took both facings and I pinned it on the outer edge and then I stitched down five eighths. Then the next part is all pretty much just pressing. So I opened up the seams, pressed it flat. Then I folded the facing in on itself three times. And then it just created this nice kind of thick button placket facing. So I'll be able to sew the buttons and do the buttonholes right into that. And it will give it more of a sturdy edge. Now I have to put the rest of the bodice together.
the only girl for me. Oh, yes, I know her, but I am over three. I wish I'd met you in the days of yours. Go on, kid, I've heard that stuff before. Now kiss me, dear, and I'll promise to be true. To kiss your grandma. Sleeves are on. Now I'm going to pin the inner facing to the outside and around the sleeves. I'm still really confused on how to put this together, but I'm sure it's just my brain and it will be a lot easier once I actually do it. I hope. You needn't tell me. You're the only what are you doing? Is it puppy time? Is it puppy time? <laughs> Why do you always do this? Right when I'm in the middle of stuff. Hey? Do you have some kind of six puppy sense? <laughs> You're right in my business. <laughs> You're not making this easy. <laughs> what are you smelling? Bodice is together. Facing is in. Facing wasn't too hard to put on. I did have to unpick where the elastic was on all four uh, just to get it in to make it look nicer. I'm not sure if I'll mention this now, but I might as well just say it in case I forget it in my outro. But the thread that I picked isn't the exact color, but it's super similar, but I can't see it <laughs> in the fabric. And I think I've mentioned before, I'm terrified of this fabric because you know, a, the tiniest, if I just pop one string, it might like unravel a whole bunch of, well, at least a small hole. And I don't want to create any more of those. I did the best I can, but there is, I grabbed a little bit of, which one? On one of the sleeves, I grabbed a little bit of the sleeve. So there is just a little bit of a pucker. It's, everyone's going to be like, you can't even notice that the sleeves are puffy. It's fine. I notice it. So that's why I'm mentioning it. But honestly, I tried to unpick it and then I couldn't tell if it was the right thread or not. I just, I didn't want to risk it. So I just left it. It's not, it's really not that big of a deal. It's not a big, I don't even know if, oh, you can see it right there. Like it's the tiniest thing. And when this is over, it's like poofy. So, yeah. but I'm going to show you that I did make a mistake. So many threads I have to clip. So now the dress pieces are finished. Now I just have to put them together. I don't know what I want to do if I should put the buttons on first or if I should put the dress together first. I feel like putting the buttons on first would be easier because there's less fabric to kind of like lug around. And But then I feel like putting on the dress with the skirt I'll be able to see where it sits what if I do have to raise it a bit if it's not exactly on my waist where I want it there just seems to be a few what ifs if I put this oh my gosh I have the zipper well I think that just one I'm gonna have to put the skirt on first and do the zipper <sighs> I did the same thing earlier with the buttons I was <laughs> like I knew what I was making I've I've known I wanted to make this dress for like over almost two weeks now since I found this fabric. And I completely forgot I need buttons for a button up dress. Luckily, I panicked for about 10 minutes and then I came downstairs and I started looking through and I have some vintage buttons that I think I thrifted. I don't think I got those at the antique store. They might not be the buttons that I keep on it, but they're the ones I'm gonna use for now because Okay, I guess I should put the skirt together first and then do the zipper and then do the buttons. And then I still have the hem. Why did I decide to do a dress with buttons and a zipper? day three <laughs> so it's put together it is heavy like I know it's a full skirt but whew. I'm happy with it I think it could be fitted a bit better I want to put the buttons on first it's 
always the way. Because now that the skirt's on and the zipper is in, it could be a little bit tighter around the waist, which most of my stuff can be. And I know I don't like things super fitted, but it is a little, I don't know, it just doesn't look super proper in my eyes at least. I want to put the buttons on first because then I want to make sure that it doesn't pull and then maybe I can kind of tighten it, but I can't really do anything about the waist because the skirt's already on. I don't know. These freaking kills you, that's for sure. And this material is pretty stretchy already, but I'm gonna put the buttons on, see how it fits before I make any other alterations. They're not gonna be the best alterations because obviously the skirt's already in, so I might have to just go in and put some kind of dart, which might make it look like more of a pleat at the bottom. I think I'll do it to the back on both sides so at least it looks consistent. The front looks okay, but I think if I pull it in just a little bit, it might look a bit better. But again, I'm just gonna go in with a base stitch to do that so I can always take it out if it doesn't look right. Or I might just take the whole thing apart eventually and fix it completely. I don't know. I probably tried this thing on oh my gosh, so many times and like I said, heavy. So pulling it on and off constantly, oh my goodness. But anyways, it's on just highlighting things that I have to work on even more. And I'll probably maybe say this again or only in my outro, but I have to work on how to fit properly is the main thing. I have to work on how to make gathers look easy. I have to work on making gathers look even, but the sleeves are nice this time. <laughs> my last dress, everything fit pretty well, but my sleeves turned out wrong because I cut them wrong. And this time, the sleeves are nice, but the bust, and I think I know exactly what I did. My back pattern piece that I had redid was supposed to be cut not on the fold, but since I wanted it on the fold, I just cut like that. But I forgot that those pattern pieces had five eighths on both sides. So I should have removed that much whenever I put it on the fold. And I never thought about that. Yay. So there was some extra room that I added myself. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in my next couple of videos, make a bodice pattern too. One that is just straight up regular bodice and then one that is a button placket bodice and I'll cut them out of bed sheets. I will fit them properly and then I will recreate patterns exactly to those measurements and shapes that I can use over again on dresses like this, on blouses like this and know that it fits me properly. And if there is a different sleeve, I can always use the pattern piece and my pattern piece and put that together to make sure that I have the proper sleeve hole. It's probably the best course of action. But anyways, on to this. So after hours of trying this on and fitting it more and more and more, and then it took me so long to gather it and put it on properly, ran into some issues with that. I ended up putting in the zipper it's not my best zipper, but it's not my worst one. The skirt, I absolutely love it. It's so full. Obviously there was eight pieces, so it is going to be full. The pattern pieces I did use for the skirt were actually supposed to be very fitted, but since I wanted a bit of a gathered waist, I cut it bigger than I was supposed to. Normally whenever you have it so big and then you gather it down, it's easier to make gathers, even because there's so many. But with this one, since there was less gathers than normal, you really have to make them look a lot more even, which I had a really hard time with. I don't even know if I'm gonna have to do an outro because I'm going through so many issues now, right now. I'm going to give the button placket another really good press to make sure it's very flat and even. I'm going to pin it together and then kind of map out where the buttons are going to go, mark those, make my buttonholes, eventually sew those buttons on, probably later tonight while I'm watching some movie. And I have to do the hem which I think what I'll do is go surge around the complete bottom and then I might just do a little bit of a rolled hem because it is right now floor length so I might even get it a little bit below the ankles which is what I wanted. Also the buttons that I'm using they are a dark brown with a bit of gold so I think it will look nice. I don't know if these are going to be the be all end all button for this dress. I might change them out eventually but I do like the size of them so I think I will keep that so I don't mind putting the buttonholes in but I really wanted to do covered buttons which I do have six covered buttons so if I only need six buttons maybe I'll use those instead of the other ones I have 
but if I do think I need more than just six, then I have the other brown ones that I can use for now until I get more covered buttons in that size. I'm also worried about the size of both of them since I am using smaller ones. I've never used that small on my buttonhole attachment. So I have to see how that's going to work too. So I'm definitely going to test it out on some scrap fabric before I do buttonholes on my dress. See, I am kind of learning. So I was thinking about using these ones. You can see there's a bit of gold, which I think are pretty, but I have six of these ones. And honestly, I think six spaced out properly will be plenty. So I think I'm going to go with the covered buttons, which means I'm going to have to cut out this and then cut out some scrap fabric. Yay. And I also just realized I've been so hungry while <laughs> making this dress. This reminds me of gingerbread. <laughs> I was like, not my gumdrop buttons. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. I'd like to think the tales about him were true. But if he was a married man, i leave it to you. Say, how much was he cost me a married man and never, never tell a lie? Okay, so I've got two done, technically three, but then I broke one completely. And then I scrambled around because now I'm so not set on these buttons, but I might have to come back to it. I don't know. So I have two done. Hopefully I can find something where I can use five buttons for it. But I scrambled around and found another pack of buttons. Thankfully, I pick up those surprise bags at Value Village. So I ended up breaking one completely because I hate cover buttons. I have ruined both of my thumbs, but there happened to be seven in here. So I have two. I still have three to go. So pray for me. I'm working on one now. It is insanely hard. It says that you could put two layers of fabric if it's thin. I thought that this was thin fabric. Apparently not, even though you can clearly see the metal through it. You have to like, it's this size. And then once I put it in, I have to trim it down even more and then try to stuff it in there. So I have three left. So, oh, there's eight. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I can screw up. How many more can I screw up? Oh no. Oh, got excited there for a second. It's already been an hour of me doing this. An hour to do two, technically three buttons. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna keep trying. I had to recut them because it is a little bit bigger. And like this one, you can see it's already starting to fray a little bit on the edge. I don't know, there. But I don't know. It's all I got. I like actually do not have another pack of these things. So I'm going to try to do these three off camera because there'll be too much swearing otherwise. And uh, hopefully I'll actually get to finishing the rest of the dress tonight, but I'm not holding my breath. I'm on my last one. It's probably been another 35 minutes since. And I'm not going to say it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I also want to say it is not Taylor Forms fault. Apparently you are supposed to use some sort of apparatus and rubber thing to make it easier. I don't have that. So I've just been using my fingers, but Nui, just snap it on. Yep. Ugh. It's almost in there. Just one side. I also found if I wet the fabric, oh, it's in. Oh my God. If I wet the fabric a bit, after trimming it, like you can see how much I would trim off just to try to get it in there. That helped. All right, final step. 
I swear if this one doesn't work. I'm like shaking, I'm so nervous. Don't pop out, don't pop out, don't pop out, don't pop out. Oh, it's in there. Yes, six covered buttons. I better freaking like these things, I swear. Does it annoy me that I can see the silver through it? Yes. Also, these are a lot smaller, so I'm really screwing myself if I don't end up liking these. I'm just gonna make myself. There's no other option. Those don't exist. All right, time for buttonholes, finally. Okay, so I tested it out and it fits, it fits all the buttons. So I just cut it so I can kind of just measure it along here. I've decided that I'm going to go up and down, not side to side like I normally do. So this is going to be different. Um, so I guess I don't need this dot anymore, but basically I'm, it's the same thickness as this is as well, just so I know that I can get through. So yeah, I'm just going to basically put this right where the dot's supposed to go and then I'm going to mark it because then I know that that's where I start and stop on each of them, you know, just in case my machine feels like not doing its job. Anyone else nervous? Or is it just me? It's been a lot of hand talking. That's not gonna work in there. Am I gonna have to do side to side buttons? Oh, it's too thick at the top. But I don't want side to side buttons. I really doubt that's gonna work. As I jam it in anyways. Bad idea, Steph. Why are you doing this? Will it be so terrible if I have to do one at the very bottom sideways and the rest up and down? I feel like it won't be that bad. That's gonna look really stupid. Sideways, it is. I think it's safe to say that I love this dress. It didn't come together as easily as I would have hoped. It felt like something was working against me 
the entire process. I felt like every single step I did, something went wrong, something put me back a little bit or took way longer than it should have. I feel like I probably complained a lot in this video. I'm really looking forward to seeing my editing and seeing what I actually said because I feel like it's all a blur. Now that the dress is done and I love it, I don't even remember all the issues, so I'm pretty excited to go back and edit the video to see what went wrong. I know some of it was definitely my fault, and you know, maybe I was just rushing a little bit too much, but I don't feel like I was. Maybe I was doing the opposite of rushing and I was overthinking things too much, so then it ended up, you know, making more mistakes that way because I was second guessing myself. I don't really know, but I do remember when I was doing my buttonholes yesterday, I was on my like third buttonhole, and I ran out of bobbin thread and I was just like, come on, I'm almost done. And then I just couldn't get over the fact that I wasn't happy with the waist. So before the reveal, I got up today and I ended up taking off the skirt to the back of the dress. And then I went up both princess seams and I'm pretty sure I took off an inch and a half, maybe more on both sides. I'm thinking over three inches of fabric in the back just to bring it in. And I'm so much happier with how it fits. It just feels a lot more snug. There is still some room in there, so I'm not, it's not too tight, but it just gives me a little bit more shape and it just looks so much better. I'm so happy I went in and did that. And I thought it was going to be a lot more work than it was. It kind of makes me want to go in and actually fix the front because I'm not super happy with it now. Once I ended up putting it back on, instead of doing my hand gathers, I just used the machine to base gather it and it looks so much nicer. It's way more even and I just, I think I just need to stop hand basting from now on and just keep doing the machine based. I know I could practice with it, but honestly it just takes the guesswork out of it and it's just so much more even. And also because my waistline is so wonky, it's not even at all. And I've noticed that I've done that on a few of my dresses. It's something I need to work on. So whenever I am putting them together, I'm obviously following a line that's not straight and that's why it's being wonky. So that's something whenever I redo my bodice pattern, which I am going to do. I'm going to make sure that those are all super even so I can start avoiding this. If you have any tips or tricks for me, let me know in the comments because I think that's what's going on. But if somebody has a way to make that easier and kind of foolproof it, let me know because I'm kind of getting sick of seeing these wonky waist seams. That being said, now that it fits on the waist and it gives me a better shape and I'm really happy with it, it made me realize how much bigger it is on the top in the bust, which is annoying because I think the sleeve should come up just a little bit. And if the bust would have been a little bit tighter, it would have. So now I feel like you can kind of see my bra strap sometimes. So I kind of have to wear them off the shoulder, which isn't the comfiest, but hey, fashion. I could always wear a strapless bra, but I hate them. It's not the end of the world. And I don't want to go in and fit the bodice which I know sounds crazy, but it's because I don't have to undo my buttons whenever I take it off and put it on. And these buttons, as I mentioned, are just too delicate to be every day. I'm not gonna wear it every day, but to be opened and closed as much. So I really don't wanna use these buttons if I don't have to, and I don't have to now. So yes, I have to deal with it maybe being a little bit loose, but then I won't have to go in and fix my buttons all the time. I don't know if that's a bad thing, but my dress. But other than that, I you know what? I just love it. I love the look of the sleeves. I do wish that they were longer, but that's all the fabric I had and I really didn't want to give up my skirt, especially now that I have it. I love the length of it. It could have been a little bit longer. I could always go in and make a smaller hem, but you know what? Again, because of the weave, I don't want it rubbing on concrete. I don't want to be stepping on it. And this is just where the ankle is. So you can kind of see my shoe a little bit and I don't have to worry about it dragging. So I think this is probably the best length for this fabric. I just really like the look when it is. I really love just a plain dress and I don't know if I do want to do anything to it, but whenever I thought about it being like gingerbread, I thought how cute would it be if I did do kind of like a gingerbreadish trim. I think a cream or something might be a little too costumey, but if I did like a darker brown, 
kind of that crinkly trim around the bottom, maybe a double strip. I think it could be pretty cool if I bring some other things onto it. I don't know if I'll do that right away because I, again, I really like how plain it is, but maybe if I want to spruce it up next year or even the year after, however long I can fit in it, adding stuff to it to give it a little bit of a refresher and make it feel a little bit more new might be something to think about in the future. For now, I am not changing a thing. I love plain dresses and this to me is exactly what I wanted and it's plain like I like and neutral, but wouldn't be opposed to adding something in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a like and I hope you subscribe. I will see everybody on Wednesday for my next video. Oh, I just want to wear this every day and swish around in it. I really need somebody to tell me what this fabric is because I want to buy all of it. Can you bring like straps to a fabric store and they can identify it for you? Ugh, but it's so pretty. I just want all my clothes like this. <gasps> a cream one? Oh, that would be... But I think I'm... It's over this shit. Farley, what do you think? Were you even in this video? Oh yeah, you came down. I didn't even see if I was in screen on that. Whew. It is windy and cold out there. Oh, my eyes are watering. Got dust in my eyes. Okay, <laughs> so that's not what I'm gonna do. Say it with me. Mock up. Point. Mm, yeah. Really love the look. <laughs> I needed to add a bunch anyways if I wanted to make it accommodate these things. I'm editing. Oh my goodness. Planning. You're distracting. It's supposed to snow tomorrow. It snowed last night. I'm definitely not going to have a lot of time to wear this dress, but I will anyways. Whoops. Why did I just stare directly at the light? For length. <laughs> Looser? Nope. Wow. Just cut up a body. Cut. Well, this is not starting out good. Cotton mouth. I'm turning the heat on finally. It's so dry in here. Oh, there's my neighbor. Do I just need to completely start over? <laughs> I feel like I've just been rambling.